Outlander Season 1, Episode 10 delivered an episode that saw Claire and Jamie separated by the end. Meanwhile, Dougal and Galus lost their spouses. Here are my favorite moments from the episode. During Outlander Season 1, Episode 10, we got a lot of movement forward in the plot. After learning that Larry got the ill wish from Galus, Claire decided to take matters into her own hands. Meanwhile, Ned found a way to potentially clear Jamie's name. In the end, there was a little hope but the Frasers found themselves forcibly separated by Colum. It's time to look at my favorite moments from By the Pricking of the Thumbs. 5. Ned Finding a Way to Help Clear Jamie's Name Ned wasn't introduced until the group went out on the rental party but he immediately proved himself as a valuable asset. During this episode, we got to see him back at work, looking at the law. He knew that the justice system was unfair, but he wasn't just going to give up. With the name becoming a useless piece of knowledge at the moment, Ned decided to find another way to help Jamie clear his name. He thought it would be better to help Black Jack Randall lose the protection he had. Most other characters would have just given up. We got to see Ned as a smart, calculating, but fair man. This quickly made him a firm favorite for me and I've loved seeing him show up now and again since this point. 4. Claire understands Leary's actions. Larry gets a lot of flack. I understand why, but at the same time, it's important to remember her age and expectations of the time. One thing that I love about Outlander Season 1, Episode 10 is that Claire gives Larry the benefit of the doubt. This is before Larry becomes far more dangerous. Placing an no wish under the bed is nothing, and more like child's play. Claire doesn't believe in it, so she's not that bothered by the actual item and more about the reason behind it. We get to see this understanding side to Claire, a chance to see her attempt to make amends for what she unintendingly did. If only it didn't go further than this. 3. Claire's Memories of the Dancing Around the Stones While watching Galus, Claire thought back to the Standing Stones and watching the Wimine dance. Bear McCreary also did a beautiful job of recreating the music used at the Standing Stones, so even before the flashbacks, we got an instant reminder of the scene. In fact, this episode saw a few flashbacks of what Claire had witnessed in the 1940s. This type of storytelling works for me. Instead of voiceover, we got a chance to see the memories and thoughts. We were shown instead of told and these parts of the episode really stood out in a good way for me. Plus, we got to see more of Galus. I've always wanted to learn more about her throughout watching Outlander but this and the following episode would be as close as we'd get. 2. Jamie explains why people believe the superstitions they do. It's easy to assume that the people of the Highlanders are ridiculous for believing the superstitions. It's something that Claire thinks and is disgusted that anyone would believe in the fairies and changelings. However, I love that Jamie corrects her and explains just why they believe in so much. Part of it is for comfort. Naturally, parents who lose children want to believe that there's a reason for it all and they want to put their minds at rest. What better way than to believe that their children are being raised by fairies and are healthy? Then there's the fact that most people didn't leave their local area. Jamie had the benefit of traveling to France. He learned more about the world, even with his education at home. It's easy to forget that the villagers would have only known what they were told by Father Bain at Sunday Mass. He's the one to be disgusted with, although, even he would have had a view narrowed from his probable lack of traveling. 1. Colum Realizing Everything By the end, we watched Dougal grieve the death of his wife and then Galus poisoned her husband. While we watched Claire figure it all out, that was a little easier. She'd already seen Galus dance in the forest and had spoken to her about the baby. Colum knew much less than Claire but he very quickly worked everything out. Colum had seen who Galus was looking at when her husband died. Then he saw the smile on Dougal's face. It was clear that the two had conspired together. I do wonder if Dougal's wife had died of natural causes and Galus saw this as the perfect chance to get rid of her husband, but it was clear that the two were planning something. Yet, once again, Colum proves why he is Lair. He shows off just how smart he is. After all, he's a Mackenzie and is used to plotting so he'd expect nothing less of his brother, 
right? What were your favorite moments from Outlander Season 1, Episode 10? What did you think of the episode the first time and what do you think now? Share your thoughts in the comments below.